Church, listen to this. Kanisa nisikilizeni. What do you do with money? Unafanya nini na pesa? Once you are given money, ukipewa pesa. Once you are given a thousand shillings, ukipewa shilingi 10,000 shillings, 100,000 shillings, shilingi moja. You have this responsibility to go and gain more. But what do many of us do? Especially believers. They waste the money and they go to their closet. They start crying. God, give me more. Mungu give me pesa. more, Lord. I claim it. I... It's like God is looking at you and saying, Mungu All what you are doing, you are wasting. Yani vyote vile wewe ni kupoteza. And you want more. Alafu unahitaji tena. I gave you more. Nilikupa zaidi. You wasted everything. Ukapoteza kila kitu. Now you are back you are crying for more. Alafu unarudi unataka tena. That's not how money works. Ah uh, pesa ifanye kazi namna hiyo. Prayer is not a means to manipulate God. Yani usitumie maombi kumzunguka zunguka Mungu kwenye ishu ya pesa. How many of you are listening to me? Mnasikiliza. Prayer is not a tool to manipulate God. Na kuambia usitumie maombi kama kumkona kona Mungu kumzunguka kwenye ishu ya pesa. And the master said. Na Bwana akasema, You are welcome. Karibu. Come into the party. Njo, Let's celebrate that you gained five more. Ah, tano zaidi. To use the biblical word. Kutumia maneno ya Biblia. It says, well done. Inasema vizuri sana. Good. Safi. Underline this. Pigilia mstari. Good and faithful servant. Uh, mwema na muaminifu. You were faithful with little. Wewe ulikuwa muaminifu kwenye kidogo. You were faithful with 100,000 shillings. Ulikuwa na muaminifu kwenye laki moja. Now I can trust you with a million. Ninaweza nikakupa sasa milioni mshangilie bwana kwa makofi. I want you to think about this. Ebu 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 tafakari. This man, were, it's not reported in the scriptures that he went and climbed the mountain. And through the night, he was calling and crying and fasting. Did he? Did he? Did he? I am not discouraging praying. I pray, I promise you, I pray. Umbuka sisemi msiombe, hata mi naomba sana, omba. But after I have prayed, nikimaliza kuomba sasa, in prayer I get strategies from God. Kutoka kwenye hayo maombi, ninapokea maere kwa mungu. Where am I going to put my money to work? Niweke wapi hii hela ili initende kazi? In prayer I get strategies. Katika maombi, napata mikakati. Wapendwa maombi ya kimkakati. The Bible says good and faithful servant. Biblia inasema mtumwa mwema na muaminifu. Yo many of you are academics here. Wengi wa hapa ni wasomi. Can you imagine? Hivi unaweza kawaza. God is saying good and faithful. Mungu anakuambia wewe ni mzuri na muaminifu. Not because someone slept on the mountain crying. Sio kwamba alilala mlimani analia kwa maombi. Good and faithful was based on how he used his money. Mtumwa mwema na muaminifu sifa hiyo alipata kutokana na alivotumia hela. Let me ask you. Wacha nikuulize swali. The way you use your money. Unavotumia pesa zako. Let's be very practical. Hebu twende tuwe wa kweli kabisa. Would God look at you and say good and faithful? Yaani Mungu akikuangalia ulivotumia ukwasi wako wako atakwambia wewe mwema na muaminifu? I'm talking of how you use your shillings. Ninaongea na wewe juu ya namna unavotumia fedha yako. Are you good and faithful? Wewe ni mwema na muaminifu kwenye fedha? 